finally, moving on to epilepsy syndrome with adolescent onset. In this group, I'll show you one example. Juvenile myoclonic epilepsy, JME. This syndrome is one of the most common idiopathic generalized epilepsies. It is characterized by myoclonic seizures and generalized toniclonic seizures that have onset between 8 to 25 years of age. A small number of cases evolve into this syndrome from childhood absence epilepsy. Development and cognition are typically normal. Myoclonic seizures are often seen especially on awakening, but they can only be also be nocturnal or random. Generalized tonic-clonic seizures are very common. In some patients, the patients or families do not take seriously about the myoclonic seizures, only that when a patient develops generalized tonic-clonic seizures, then they will be brought to medical attention. Absent seizures are seen in one-third of cases, which may be brief and less frequent. So referring to the EEG reading, the background is normal. There is interictal generalized spike and wave and polyspikes and waves. One third of cases have focal or multifocal epileptiform discharges, but not consistently in one area. Here's a word of caution. If focal slowing or spike consistently in one area, you should consider structural brain anomaly. This EEG shows generalized multi-spike wave discharges in the resting EEG that appear on more than two occasions after eye closure. This phenomena is called eye closure sensitivity, which could be observed in JME. I would like to make a special mention about eye closure sensitivity. Eye closure sensitivity is a unique EEG phenomenon that is described as the non-incidental appearance of transient epileptic abnormalities following the eye closure of the eyes for 1 to 4 seconds during a routine EEG recording. It may overlap with photosensitivity but is independent from photosensitivity. ECS can activate polyspike wave discharges and myoclonic jerks. It can be seen in different epilepsy syndrome, including childhood absence epilepsy, juvenile absence epilepsy, eyelid myoclonia with absence, and so on. Next, this slide shows ictal attack, which was provoked by hyperventilation. This is a 13 years old boy with myoclonic seizure mostly during awakening during brushing teeth for three to four months and he had GTC once recently and during hyperventilation there's myoclonus occur over here which was associated with generalized polyspike wave juvenile myoclonic epilepsy this syndrome is one of the most common genetic generalized epilepsies and is characterized by myoclonic and generalized toniclonic seizures in an otherwise normal adolescent or adult. The EEG background is normal. Interictal generalized spike and wave and polyspike and wave may be seen. Photosensitivity is common and can also be activated by hyperventilation and sleep deprivation. During ictal attack, myoclonic seizures are associated with generalized polyspike wave. So, I have given an overview and some examples of epilepsy syndromes. To wrap up my talk, here are some take-home messages. There are many epilepsy syndromes, but each of them has its specific clinical context and EEG characteristic. Therefore, when making a diagnosis of epilepsy syndrome, we should take into consideration regarding the age of presentation, EEG, and predominant seizure type. These are the examples of epilepsy syndromes in different age groups that I described in my talk. But thing to always keep in mind is that not all EEG are equally informative due to random sampling and other factors that influence the yield of routine EEG. 
so repeat EEG may be necessary. So thank you for your listening.